وأصلي وأسلم على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فنسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يجعلنا وإياكم من المستمعين للقول والمتبعين أحسنه إنه ولي ذلك والقادر عليه So what we were saying, Barakallahu Fikum, is that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave that body or that soul a body, and that is how we look at it. It is not the body that was given a soul, it was the soul that was given a body because it is only that which precedes something that can be given something. So we were in that world of souls and Allah Jalla wa ala subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he looked at these three beings that did not really have a physical tangible body and that were the angels on the one hand, the jinn on the other, and the human soul on the other hand. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He chose the human being to be that only being that would have that transparent being, a the soul, being given a physical body. Because apparently the human being alone was strong enough to go against the desires of that body. Because that body is, is, has a survival mechanism, isn't it? Nam? It wants so many things and all of these things are to keep it alive. And the reason why is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to live as long as we can so that the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would be as much as possible yani taking place on the face of the earth. So this is why we, whether we want it or not, we, we want to survive. And now when the soul was given that body, Barakallahu Fikum, then at the very beginning it had to acclimatize. Because the body had many yearns and wants and desires that were alien to the soul. Because the, the soul in reality was free of all of this. The soul had one hunger. And that hunger could never be stilled because it was the hunger for the divine. That soul had only one thirst, and that was a thirst that could not be quenched, and that was the thirst for being connected to the divine. But now when the soul was given that body, it all of a sudden became limited, because her wanting the Lord was now, yani, was now what? Was now being interrupted by the wants and the desires of that body. So maybe if we can keep it now, because otherwise it will distract me if we keep on uh, yes. talking, okay? So, and this is why, Barakallahu Fikum, you see that at the very beginning, the soul could not communicate. Now, because it had that new body that was the, the, the baby that you see in front of you. And as we said before, yani it is that this, you would see the beauty of the soul within that body of that child. It looks like it is giving light, isn't it? You, they speak about the innocence. And, but the babies are not the only ones who seem to be having that innocent glow. When, when people are truly dedicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then all of a sudden, once again, they seem to be having this light. And you will have that also sometimes. Like when people come back from Hajj, then all of a sudden you see like that glow on their faces. You see that they have been beautified and adorned by the light of faith. And that is in times where your soul is stronger than your body where the, the yearning of your soul is being listened to more than your physical cravings. So now, you grew, you, you were not able, but you, the soul within that body was ancient. Now, you were ancient. You have an ancient self and you have a new self. And that new self is your body and that ancient self is the soul within. Because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said that we were in the world, we were in the world of souls. He said, and people were connected to one another in the world of souls. And he says, and if they got well along together, yani in the world of souls, then they will be friends in this life. So the people that you, sometimes you say, like, it's, it's like I've known him for years. You have. It's, I, I have the feeling I've known you for years. You are my soulmate. Of course you are when each other and, and not that they get divorced and find somebody else but they're the person with whom they stay they were actually one soul one light that was divided into two and that were brought together again and this is why you have that feeling that you keep on looking and searching until you find that person where you come at ease 